In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about how to use the Shape Builder tool. The Shape Builder tool is one of the tools I really enjoy using because it allows me to make many creative shapes, many organic shapes, starting with geometric shapes. So to show off what it can do, I first have to make a few shapes. And I've moved over here to this gray space because when I save my piece, if I don't delete this, it will not be there as long as I save um, with using Use Artboard. Now, coming in, I click and drag to make a rectangle. And all I'm going to do is put an ellipse on the top of that. And what I'm going to do the next with the next piece is I'm going to click and drag with the Alt key depressed, still in my shape tool, and make another ellipse at the bottom. Now, what I have to do first with the to use the Shape Builder tool is to make sure I have all my pieces selected. Secondly, I have to make sure I have intersections made because if there's no intersections, this tool will not work properly. Lastly, I have to go to where it says the Shape Builder tool and select. Now that I have the Shape Builder tool, whenever I, whenever I see these two surfaces, if I move between them, how it highlights. If I click and drag through, it's going to combine these shapes. There's a shape underneath here, so that's why it's trying to do that. So if I wanted the top, or I'm sorry, the bottom to look like this is one shape, I can click and drag through to create that cylinder looking piece. If I wanted to get rid of the top, I could hold the Alt key down, and notice how if I go over a line, it highlights just that line that cut off. I'm going to edit undo. If I hold it over a shape, or as far as the actual surface there, it gets rid of the whole piece also. If I click and drag through, it deletes things we don't need. Zooming in sometimes with the trim up little paths that we didn't get on the last try. So zooming in, holding the Alt key down, and depressing allows us to delete or trim where we have intersections. It's very important that we have intersections and we have all of our selections of our shapes made when we're trying to use the Shape Builder tool. Thank you for watching.